And then if you Chi G, you also get Refreshing Jade Wind. Yep, just more, more passive healing. That is freaking insane. All right, so the first change they added is right here. So it's on a choice node with Pure into Peace. It's a new talent called Pool of Mists. Renewing Mist now has three charges and reduces the remaining cooldown of Rising Sun Kick by one second. And then Rising Sun Kick now reduces the remaining cooldown of Renewing Mist by one second. So if I just get all my... You can see... Oh, did my bars swap? I think they changed my bars. Renewing Mist. Renewing Mist. Yep. All right, this is cool. All right, so... I'm going to get all my my Renewing Mist out. Actually, I'll Rising Sun Kick, right? So it's a cooldown. And then you Renewing Mist and you get the cooldowns lowering. And then I can Rising Sun Kick here. And then the cooldown on my Renewing Mist gets lowered. So pretty clearly a Fist Weaving talent, but has maybe room for Cast and Mist Weaver too. But mostly geared towards Fist Weaving. Teaching the Monastery is now Baseline Effect. Oh. Okay. All right, that's cool. I love that. So now you have a little bit of extra damage as cast a Mist Weaver, and now you get a free talent if you Fist Weave. Refreshing Jade Wind has been redesigned, finally. It's been terrible since Legion. Thunder Focus T summons a whirling tornado around you, causing healing over eight seconds up to five allies within 10 yards. It's not a choice node with Mistrap. I wish Mistrap was just a talent or just like a normal like baseline ability. All right, let me see. Hmm. They're putting a lot of stuff into Thunder Focus T. Like a lot. Like I feel like they're gonna increase the cooldown of Thunder Focus T at one at some point. Cause like you can you now empower what? One, two, three, four, five spells. And now you can summon a tornado of healing. There's like a lot of work being put into Thunder Focus T. But this is cool. So it's just AoE healing, you can see. This is my Thunder Focus T. It's just a passive heal. Definitely more geared towards raiding and Mythic Plus. I feel like if you PvE or PvP, you're probably still going to want to play Mishrap. It's too good. It's, it's just too good to give up. All right, Yulon's Whisper has been redesigned. While channeling Manatee, you exhale the breath of Yulon, healing up to five allies within 15 yards. So every 0.5 seconds I'm channeling Manatee, it does a heal, which is nice because I feel so vulnerable when I, uh, when I Manatee. All right, Manatee here. Decent. Probably not going to be played, but it's cool. All right, Chi Harmony has been redesigned. So Renewing Mist increases its target healing received by you from you by 50% for the first 8 seconds of its duration, but cannot jump to a new target during this duration. I'm actually completely fine with that. All right, so this is... Oh, it's, it's got a new... Uh, it's got a new icon. Not on a choice net or anything either. So increase from you 50% the first 8 seconds of duration, but cannot jump to a new target during this time. I think I'm fine with that, right? So is this going to change? Let me see if this changes icon. No. Yeah, there we go. I like I, I just like the icon. So I guess it just changes on its own. It do, and whenever the first eight seconds, the renewing mist cannot go to a new person. Crane style has moved to uh, teach the monster previous location. So that's right here. Misty Peaks now has a four slash eight percent chance to activate and now extends. Enveloping Mist on his target if Enveloping Mist is present. Yeah, it's a good talent. It was a good talent season one and one and two when it was five slash ten, but I guess four plus four slash eight. And it didn't it didn't proc it before either. Or it did right? It didn't proc the uh Enveloping Mist if there was someone on it. I wonder if there's a chance that I can like get it to proc and extend. So you gain refreshing jade wind while Chi G or Yulon is active. Okay, let me get my Chi G out here. And then what's what's the other one? Refreshing Jade Wind and Spinning Crane Kick have a chance to cause Chi G to grant you a stack of Manatee and quickly rush. So I have my Refreshing Jade Wind. And you pretty much just want a Thunder Focus T. Right? Yeah. Oh, then there goes Chi G. Oh my god, there she goes. She just ran away. And then if you Chi G, you also get Refreshing Jade Wind. Yep, just more more passive healing. That is freaking insane. I'd rather lose 300 CR than Fist. Joke's on you, I've lost 300 CR because I didn't Fist, and it's not fun. <laughs> it is it is not fun. But you know what's cool is you could Yulon, though. So if, if, you, if, you, if you play Conduit of the Celestials, 
which you probably won't. The, the issue is you're not real. You're probably not gonna be playing Conduit of the Celestials if you're misweaving, because it's all has to do with Jade Fire. Like if you were to, you're just not. You're just not. It, it all interacts around Jade Fire Stomp and damage. So you're probably not. But what's cool is if you do ever run it and you GG, you should get the. Uh, nah, that's cool. You get you get Nikes. You get a little little speed bump. You're just, you, but the thing is, you're not gonna be misweaving with this tree. You're just it's just a fact. What's interesting is on the misweaver tree you get two charges of thunder focus t right it's not much right i mean if you play refreshing jade you're not going to i mean you're not going to but <laughs> but you could like you know thunder focus t and then you get the refreshing jade wind this is probably more for like rbgs i'm t misweavers are still gonna be insane in rbgs even after the nerfs to revival you're still gonna be insane. and then you thunder focus t again you get you have so much healing.